friends, I'm back. It is Monday. I forgot that I did have time today, so I was going to do one more pour for you. Um, I'm using the exact same colors that I used yesterday on the colander pour, but today I'm going to do a dump and swirl. I'm not going to use the colander, and I want to see the difference between both of those and see how they turn out. So as you can see, my paints are lined up here. Um, on the far end, I have the rose gold, and that's the folk art paint. And then I have the warm sunset. Um, yeah, one of the bottles exploded when DecoArt sent them to me, so got some paint on it. Sort of like nice pumpkin color. Then I have Tuscan red, of course, DecoArt's uh, Americana. And then I didn't have the same white that I used yesterday, which was, um, I think that was a folk art white. Um, so I have DecoArt's metallic white pearl, and I added just like a drop of black uh, yesterday I used Payne's Gray, but I didn't have any more to use today. So just to kind of lighten it, uh, darken it up just slightly to like a light gray. And then of course, there's my dump paint, um, Artist Loft Soft Body Black. Okay, so this is a 24 by 36 canvas, same as yesterday. I'm gonna go set things up, make sure my paints are all mixed perfectly, and we'll get started here in a couple of seconds. Okay guys, here we are back to get started. First things first, I wanna say hello to everybody. Hope you're having a great start to the week. Okay, so today I am doing uh, like a dump and swirl where I'm just pouring my paints on the canvas. Um, I sort of pour it forcibly because I want the color to mix, especially as the puddle gets um, more layers to it. There's more paint that I can mix in. So I'm using these colors and I'm alternating it um, with the sort of gray mixture there. And that was the rose gold, which is one of my favorite new colors to work with. It works well with blues and greens, as well as, of course, with reds and oranges. That orange is a beautiful pumpkin orange. It's not a bright orange. Um, so I thought it would work well with the rose gold. As you can see, as I'm starting to pour the paint, it's getting thicker in the center. And it's starting to mix a little bit. And that's what I like. There we go. Just like that. Get the rest of the orange in there. I think I'm gonna, yep, finish off that gray mixture. What's left of the red, and I think that's it. Okay, so the black paint. It's hard to maybe tell in this video, but the black paint sinks a little bit at first, which is great, because what that means is that the negative space is going to be a little bit smaller, at least that's my observation. As you can see right there, it kind of sank. And then I just pour it slowly. I don't want too much of the paint to disperse um, out, which would make a very large negative space. Believe me, I've done that. <laughs> so when I put the paint down, the black paint down, it's a short little prayer. And I um, wanted to make sure that the painting gods were on my side today. Um, after yesterday's pour with the colander, I wanted to see how my classic dump and swirl would um, stand up to what I did yesterday. So I'm getting over that last corner. At first, I wasn't sure if it was gonna have a lot of reaction. Um, you can see some of the red and orange along the edge, and there were a few speckles that popped up, but it was um, very slow to develop. And so I sat there moving the canvas back and forth, popping some of the bubbles with my torch as well to make sure that the color has some room to um, pop up, um, as well as the black paint to sink. Okay, friends, I'm going to stop talking and you can watch the rest in the time lapse and watch it to the end and, and watch um, the final composition.
Okay, friends, here I am. I'm back. I walked in and I started chuckling. I was like, oh my gosh, didn't realize that we had such a cool looking pour. Same colors as yesterday. Um, of course, I poured it a little bit differently. Um, as you notice, I didn't use the colander. And so you have more of the, you know, the definition of the lines from the puddles when I was pouring the puddles down. Now, I didn't pour the puddles down nice and smooth or softly. I sort of, you know, I kind of threw it down a little bit basically because um, I wanted it to mix. And yeah, you know, the red mixed with the white, so it looks sort of pink through here, but hey, that's cool. So let me show you close up. If you can see the cells and the cells through here, the orange, let me walk around. There we go. Don't want to step in my splatters of paints here. So yeah, this is, look at the, I don't know what to call it, like the gradation of uh, the pinks, the orange and the gold. And then like I said, you have all these in here that look really cool. Now the negative space is pretty awesome. I love these little cells in here. I'm probably gonna keep them. Um, Sorry about the glare. Let me see if I can get a better shot. Look, there's me looking down. Yeah, it's cool. I don't know. Anyway, my fingers crossed it's gonna dry as is. I don't see any problems with the paints. Um, let me just move in again to give you some close-ups. So fingers crossed it stays as is. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay, I don't have a lot of words. I think it's pretty neat. I'm happy with it. And um, you guys have a great rest of your week and we'll see you probably at the end of the week again. Uh, I don't have any more canvases to paint on. So um, if I'm out and about, maybe I go to Michael's and get some of those canvases that are on sale. Okay, friends, take care. We'll see you soon.